Today, let's look at this question from the topic of either pigeonhole principle or graph theory. So for this question, we are asked to color the edges of a complete graph on six vertices, which we call K6, with only two color, either red or blue. A is a classical question. We are asked to show that there is a monochromatic triangle. It means that the edges of the triangle are all of the same color, either all red or all blue. B is more interesting. We are asked to show that there are two monochromatic triangles. So from here, if B is true, then A automatically is true. And later on, you want to construct a graph of K6 with the coloring of the edges so that they have exactly two monochromatic triangles. Please have a good try before you look at the answer. Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. So for question one, we will say that six vertices is the least number of vertices such that A is correct. Because if you have five vertices, let's say you have five vertices, it is not sufficient because we can color the edges using blue in this case and red in this case. We don't see any red triangle or blue triangle. The meaning of triangle is different from the triangle that we have. We don't claim that this is a triangle because this is not the vertex. So we are able to color a K5 without a monochromatic triangle. But if it's six vertices, we can show that there is at least one monochromatic triangle. The proof is as follow. So for any vertex, say B, we'll have five neighbors. We need to use either red or blue to join these five vertices. Since we have two choices of color, either blue or red, using pigeonhole principle, there must be one color using at least three times. Let's say blue using at least three times. Suppose the statement is not true. We try to avoid a monochromatic triangle. So now, Let's consider these three vertices. As we want to avoid a monochromatic triangle, we cannot use blue color to join any two vertices here. Otherwise, together the V, they will form a monochromatic triangle. And therefore, we force to use all red color among these three vertices. And in that case, we will have a red triangle. And this done the question A. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And question B is more interesting. We have to show that there are two monochromatic triangles. We have to use the previous result, say that, okay, now we already have a monochromatic triangle. Let's say it's a blue triangle. Then we're still left with three vertices. Now, suppose these three vertices form another blue triangle, then we are done. If not, there must be an edge use the color red. And say this at X and Y. For each of the vertices X and Y, there must be three edges joined to these triangles. If we suppose that there's no two monochromatic triangles, we need to avoid using two blue edges here. So meaning that from X, there must be at least two red edges joined to these three vertices. Let's say these are the two vertices that join to X using red edges. And this also happened to Y. It must be at least two red vertices out of three. Because there's only three vertices here out of two red edge, there must be one vertex that common to the neighbor of X here. So let's say this one. And in this case, we will see that there is a red triangle. And therefore, we show that these are the two monochromatic triangles. And here, show the statement B. And next, we will ask another question. What is the minimum number of the monochromatic triangle can be found in a K6? 
we show that there must at least one, at least two, will be at least three. The answer is not, because we are able to construct a K6 using two colors, whereby there's only two monochromic triangle as shown. So we have three red triangle, and the rest we are using blue color. And you may check that there's exactly two red triangle, and there's no any other blue triangle in between them, because it itself is a K33. And we know that K33 contains no triangle at all. To another extreme, how many monochromatic triangle that we can have at most? The answer is obvious. Because there is 6 to choose 3, there's 20 triangles that we can find in the K6. If we color all the edges by only one color, say blue, then we have all together 20 blue triangles. That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.